good morning again, boys and girls. Do you know, I think of you all week long, and I so wish we were together again. When I teach my lessons like this, do you know you help me? Every time you say something, it inspires me with a new idea, and my lessons are so much better with you right in front of me. But since they're not, let's go to our hearts and our minds, and remember that I learn from you, and you learn from me, and today, I can't see you, but I hope and I know that many of you are there. So I'm picturing you right now at home with brothers or sisters, or in the classroom in learning pods with your friends. I can see you at school, and hopefully when you're at school, you're on the playground, but when you're home, you're outside with at least brothers and sisters. Now I know at school, because I used to work in schools, that recess is a really special time. You love to get up from your seat right about 10 o'clock and get your snack and run out to recess. Uh, you can't wait to get out the door and you get a break to be with your friends. Then, 20 minutes later, I picture the end of recess and you're in line and you're usually waiting nicely for me. And I'm always sad when I see someone sitting with their head in their lap like or someone saying, teacher, he hit me, or he threw the ball at me. And I know we're going to have to have a little chat. And it doesn't involve everyone, but it happens pretty often with children at recess. So what do you think we can do at these times where people are sad or people think they've been hurt? Most of you aren't affected. You're standing in line nicely. But we've got some people in our midst that are pretty sad. Well, today. Jesus in his gospel tells us how to take care of these problems. And you know, it could be brothers and sisters at home too, but I was just picturing recess in school. So if you can, I'm going to ask you to please stand for the gospel. And the Lord be with you. And you say with your spirit. Now I'm going to introduce a reading from Jesus' word, the gospel according to Matthew. And you say, Glory to you, O Lord, Jesus be on my mind, Jesus be on my lips, and Jesus be in my heart. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother or sister does something wrong, go and talk to that person alone, just the two of you. If the person listens to you and stops doing wrong, you have been very helpful. But if the person won't listen to you, take two or three other people with you and try again. If the person won't listen to them either, tell the Christian community. And if they won't even listen to the community, then that person is kind who wants to go to the community, then that person is the kind who wants to go on sinning. Then Jesus said, I tell you honestly, wherever two or three of you agree to pray about something, God will be there. For whether two or three people are gathered in my name, I am there with them. The gospel of the Lord, and you answer, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So let's go back to the story at the recess. And someone hit you, or someone bothered you, or someone said a mean thing to you. What can you do? What does Jesus want you to do first? In the gospel, I think he says, go talk to that person. Be nice to that person and say, I'm hurt, and you hurt me, and I'm really sad. You know what? If you're lucky, that person might say, you know, I feel bad, I hurt you, and I'll try harder next time, and I really want to be your friend. Do you realize you've just helped that person be kind? He doesn't have to go in and feel bad. He feels like he has a chance to be able to play with you again. And you've been like Jesus. You've been very, very kind. Now, do you think that always works? I can hear you saying to me, no, 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 Mrs. McNamee, that doesn't always work. So Jesus, knowing that we're human, says we've got another choice. He says, go get two other friends or a teacher and a friend 
or two good, kind Christian people and ask them to talk to the person with you. And maybe all together you could come up with ideas about how to play without getting hurt. Well, Jesus gives us a special note then. He says, I'm with you. I'll be with you. I'll be with the people talking. I'll be watching you. And if you want to pray to me and talk to me, you know I'm here on your side with you. Do you think that'll work? Sometimes it does. Once in a while, it doesn't. So after talking alone to a friend and with other children or people helping you, if that still doesn't work, do you know any trusted adults you trust more than anything in the world? Maybe a teacher, maybe your mom, maybe your dad, maybe a big brother or big sister. Go to them and say, you know, I'm really having a problem with this child and I don't know how to get them to be kind and I have to play with them every single day on the playground. What can I do now? Well, Jesus gives us a wonderful thing. He says, pray to me and I'll be with you. So you and the teacher or the older brother decide, we're not going to play with that little guy for a while, but we're always going to be kind. We're going to be kind to other people. We're going to be kind in the game. Maybe we'll let them cut in front of us in line. I don't know. But all of a sudden they find that we're a pretty kind person. And we're being like Jesus. And soon that may win them over. And they're going to say, I want to be like that person. Then you can all pray to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us. Thank you, Jesus, for letting me solve the problem. Thank you for letting me show kindness to the world because that's how I want the world to be. So just remember, you can show your kindness and love time over time and you'll find that the world is a much nicer place. Let us pray. And you answer, Lord, hear our prayer. And I have petitions today that talk about children. We pray for all the children of the world that they may know Jesus is always with us. And you answer, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that everyone in our world has food and shelter. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our cure to the COVID virus so that we may all be safe and able to be together again. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our priests and our teachers and our parents and everyone who keeps us safe and we love. Lord, hear our prayer. So children, I wish you a wonderful week. And I know you don't have to deal with a playground situation anymore. But I know in homes with brothers and sisters, I have two grandchildren. And yes, one hit the other one the other day. So I know that you can model kindness in your home and it will be needed sometime. And just remember, Jesus is with you. God bless you.